Have you ever pondered the profound impact of British rule on the development and transformation of India? It's a complex topic, steeped in centuries of history and fraught with controversy. The British Raj, a time of colonial rule that spanned nearly 200 years, left an indelible imprint on the Indian subcontinent. This era saw a seismic shift in every facet of Indian society. The economy, once thriving on local industries, was reoriented towards serving the interests of the empire. Politics was reshaped, with power centralized and decision-making processes altered. Culturally, the Indian psyche was influenced by Western ideas and norms. Socially, the caste system was further entrenched and the seeds of communal discord were sown. Yet, the British rule wasn't just a tale of domination and exploitation. It also brought about infrastructure development, the English language and a unified administrative system. These aspects continue to shape contemporary India. In order to understand this impact, we need to delve deep into the growth of British rule in India. The seeds of British rule in India were sown with the establishment of the East India Company in 1600. This marked the dawn of a new era, an era that would forever change the course of Indian history. The East India Company, initially a commercial entity, was chartered by Queen Elizabeth II with the intent of pursuing trade in the East Indies. But fate had a different plan. The company found its way to the shores of India and discovered a land brimming with potential. The profound riches of India, its spices, silk and indigo, were irresistible to the British. They established trading posts along the coast in cities like Madras, Calcutta and Bombay, which became bustling hubs of commerce. But trade was just the beginning. Behind the scenes, a more significant game was unfolding, the gradual shift from commerce to control. The Battle of Plassey in 1757 marked a pivotal moment in this transformation. This wasn't just a battle, it was a turning point that tilted the scales in favor of the British. The East India Company, under the command of Robert Clive, defeated the Nawab of Bengal, a significant power in the region. This victory didn't just give the British control over Bengal, it opened the doors to the heart of India. The victory at Plassey was soon followed by the capture of the Mughal capital, Delhi. The Mughal Emperor was reduced to a mere puppet, and the East India Company emerged as the de facto rulers of vast territories. This was not trade anymore, it was outright political rule. The East India Company, a commercial enterprise, had transitioned into a political entity, governing vast territories and millions of people. The British Parliament, recognizing this shift, passed the Regulating Act, bringing the company under British government control. This was the beginning of a new chapter in Indian history, one that would reshape its future. The dawn of British rule had broken over the horizon, casting long shadows that would stretch out over the next two centuries, influencing every aspect of India's social, political and economic life. But the British didn't stop at mere political control, they sought to consolidate their power across the vast landscape of India. To strengthen their grip, they implemented several strategies that redefined India's social and political fabric. One such strategy was a sweeping administrative overhaul. They introduced a centralized system of governance, with the Viceroy at the helm, ensuring a singular unified command that left no room for dissent. Another significant change was the introduction of English education. The British believed that to rule India, they needed to anglicize the Indian mind. English education was seen as a tool to produce a class of Indians who were, as Lord Macaulay famously put it, Indian in blood and color, but English in taste, in opinions, in morals and in intellect. Infrastructure development was another tactic. The British built an extensive network of railways, connecting even the remotest corners of the country. This not only facilitated the transport of goods and resources, but also allowed for swift troop movement, thus solidifying their military control. Similarly, the telegraph system was introduced, enabling instant communication across the vast Indian subcontinent, another innovation that strengthened their hold. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. The revolt of 1857, often termed as the First War of Independence, was a significant event that shook the very foundations of British rule. It was a fierce, albeit unsuccessful, uprising against the oppressive foreign rule. The aftermath of this revolt led to the dissolution of the East India Company and the direct assumption of Indian administration by the British Crown. This marked a new era of colonial rule, 
one that was arguably more organized and ruthless. These measures, coupled with a strong military presence, ensured the firm establishment of British rule in India. They had effectively managed to consolidate their power, transforming India into the jewel of their colonial empire. The British rule was now firmly established, but at what cost? The British rule left an indelible mark on India, shaping its socio-economic and political landscape. Let's start with the economic sphere. The British rule introduced a new economic structure in India. They brought in the system of land revenue, which, while ensuring a steady income for the British, also led to the impoverishment of many farmers. The traditional industries, particularly the textile industry, were severely affected as the British encouraged the import of British goods, leading to a decline in local production. Conversely, the British also introduced modern industries in India, setting the foundation for a new industrial economy. They established tea and coffee plantations, coal mining and railway construction industries among others. Although these industries primarily served the British interests, they also created job opportunities for many Indians. In the social sphere, the British rule brought significant changes. They introduced the modern education system, which while promoting English language and Western knowledge, also led to the erosion of traditional Indian education. This new education system produced a new class of educated Indians, who played a key role in the Indian independence movement. The British also introduced the modern legal system in India, based on English law. This system brought uniformity in laws across the country, replacing the diverse and often conflicting traditional legal systems. However, it also led to the erosion of traditional dispute resolution mechanisms and increased the dependence on formal courts, which were often inaccessible to the poor. The British rule also left a profound impact on Indian culture. They introduced Western ideas and values which led to a cultural transformation. On one hand, this led to a renaissance in Indian literature, arts and social reforms. On the other hand, it also led to cultural alienation and the loss of many traditional cultural practices. In the political sphere, the British rule introduced the modern administrative system and the concept of a centralized state. They established a bureaucratic system, which, while efficient, was also characterized by red tape and corruption. However, it was this very system that later served as the backbone of independent India's administration. The British rule, however, was not without its dark side. It was marked by severe exploitation of resources, leading to famines and widespread poverty. The British also practiced racial discrimination, treating Indians as second-class citizens, which left deep scars on the Indian psyche. In conclusion, the impact of British rule in India was multifaceted, bringing about significant changes in the economic, social, cultural and political spheres. While it introduced modern systems and institutions, it also led to exploitation, cultural erosion and socio-economic disparities. British rule thus had a profound impact, which continues to be felt even today. As we reflect on the impact of British rule in India, it's clear that it was a period of significant transformation. This journey through the labyrinth of history has led us from the dawn of British rule, where we witness the meticulous establishment and consolidation of power, to the multifaceted impacts of this rule on India. We've seen how the introduction of Western ideals and systems, such as English education, legal structures, administrative systems and infrastructure, brought about a major shift in the socio-political landscape of the country. The British, through their rule, sowed the seeds of modernity in India. However, this transformation was not without its drawbacks. The economic policies of the British, which were heavily skewed in favor of the mother country, led to a drain of Indian wealth. The agricultural sector bore the brunt of these exploitative policies, leading to widespread poverty and numerous famines. We've also delved into the cultural implications of British rule. The introduction of Western thought led to a renaissance in Indian society. It sparked a wave of social and religious reform movements, leading to the abolition of regressive practices and the upliftment of the downtrodden. Yet, it also led to a growing divide between the Indian and the Western cultures, a divide that continues to exist to this day. The British rule, while oppressive and exploitative, also laid the groundwork for the eventual unification and independence of India.
the introduction of modern political thought and the creation of a nationwide administrative structure, albeit for their own benefit, inadvertently sparked the flame of nationalism in the hearts of the Indian people. In conclusion, the British rule in India was a period of profound change, a time of both progress and regress. It was a time of exploitation, but also of modernization. It was a time of oppression, yet also a time of awakening. While the legacy of British rule in India is a mixed one, it undeniably played a crucial role in shaping the India we know today.